What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm working on a heat pump today, but it's a little different than our normal heat pump. This is a train with an H6 error code. H6 is for the outdoor DC fan motor. Uh, so the first thing I check is the pan. Make sure we have no ice buildup in the pan. As you can kind of see, this one looks good. There's no buildup. This one does have a pan heater, which is sort of the reason for today's video. But uh, yeah, like I said, this is a train. This is actually made by Gree. This is a Gree Flex, which is kind of a cool heat pump. It's got a selectable capacity. This one has a train sticker on it, but it is manufactured by Gree. You can select these from two to three ton, and they also have a bigger one. You can select from four to five tons. So I just got off the phone with tech support. Uh, they gave me a few things to check, including the wiring harness. This is the wiring for the outdoor fan motor right here. Everything's good. This is only about eight months old. So what we suspect happened is uh, a big gust of wind came through here, blew the fan motor in reverse. And when the unit tried to start on, it saw the fan motor going the wrong direction and just threw an error code. This is not the first time I've had this on this heat pump and it is uh, fairly common according to tech support. So they're looking into um, maybe some wind baffles, stuff like that. But it leads me to the topic of today's video, which is the defrost, uh, the lack of defrost pan heaters on the EG4 heat pumps. So uh, if you have an EG4, take a look at your pan, your, uh, your drain pan, make sure you don't have an ice buildup. Mine's been doing good, my little one ton, but my father-in-law in New York State has a pretty good amount of ice buildup on his heat pump. So I've been looking at a couple options to add a pan heater to the EG4 heat pumps. It is possible. I'm just kind of looking at the best options. Obviously we'd have to have two different ones, one for the one ton, one for the two ton because they are different voltages. So uh, let me know in the comments if you've had any issues with your pan freezing up, if you've had ice kind of building up in the bottom of it. It is a big concern. If it builds up too high, it can stop your condenser fan motor and put you into a lockout mode. So uh, yeah, like I said, let me know if you've had any issues. I, I'm going to start looking into it. If there's enough interest, I might put a little kit together and uh, try to get these things defrosting a little more efficiently. If you did have enough ice in your pan to block the outdoor fan motor, you would most likely throw a code 58 on the EG4. Here's a screenshot of all the error codes for the EG4 hybrid heat pumps. If you're a part of my hybrid heat pump Facebook group, you already have this information. I do share a lot of data sheets and anything I can get on these heat pumps on that site. So if you're not already a member, go join the Facebook group. Uh, there's some discussion. You can ask questions. I can get back to you a little bit easier on there than I can in the YouTube comments. So definitely check that out and feel free to screenshot this uh, error code list. Like I said, this is going to be a short video for today. Just wanted to give you guys this little update and let you know to have a look at your pans. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one and uh, hope you enjoyed the video.